David was a good king for Israel. He defeated his enemies and he obeyed God to do what was fair and right for God's people. One day, David thought about King Saul and his family. David and Saul's son, Jonathan, had been best friends. He had promised to be kind to Jonathan's family. David wondered if anyone from that family was still alive. David said to one of Saul's servants, I want to show kindness to someone from Saul's family. Is anyone still alive? The servant said, yes, Jonathan's son, the one whose feet were injured, is still alive. The servant told David where Jonathan's son lived. His name was Mephibosheth. David called for him to his palace in Jerusalem. When Mephibosheth arrived, he bowed down before David to show respect. Mephibosheth, David said. Mephibosheth answered, I am your servant. Don't be afraid. I made a promise to your father, Jonathan, and I want to show you kindness for your father's sake. David told Mephibosheth what he would do for him. I will give you all the land that belonged to your grandfather, Saul. Also, I want you to eat all your meals at my table. Mephibosheth bowed down. Why would you show such kindness to someone like me? He wondered. David made sure that Saul's servants would take care of the land and farm it for Mephibosheth. From that time on, Mephibosheth lived at the palace and ate his meals at King David's table as if he were one of King David's own sons. King David showed surprising kindness to Mephibosheth, even though he didn't have to. In a greater way, God shows surprising kindness to us. Because of Jesus, he invites us into his family and gives us life with him forever. Hi there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for questions from kids. Logan from Milwaukee, Wisconsin asks, I noticed a kid in my school that no one really talks to. I wanted to be kind to him, but it might feel awkward. What could I do or say? Yeah, Logan, it's really important that we find ways to be kind to others, especially when you see somebody who may feel lonely or alone or, or just sitting by themselves in, in the cafeteria because that person really needs a friend and you can be that friend. You know, it reminds me of the Bible story this week where David showed kindness to Mephibosheth that Mephibosheth was really somebody who was in a bad position. He was of the wrong family. He was of Saul's family and David was now king. Uh, he was injured in both feet so he couldn't get around very much. He was probably somebody that people looked past. And here, what did we see happen? David called for Mephibosheth and showed him great kindness, brought him into his home. They had meals together. It was such a great thing. Can you imagine how that made Mephibosheth feel? So here's the thing, we want to be like David, but more than that, we want to be like Christ because God has shown great kindness to us by giving us Christ, that we didn't deserve anything from God and yet He was so kind to us to give us Christ, to bring us into His family. And so God wants us to show kindness to others in that same way so that we can point people to Christ. So think very practically. Uh, one of the things that you can do is go have lunch with this person. When you see them by themselves in the cafeteria, take your tray over, maybe even invite your friends over as well and say, let's go sit with them. Uh, just smile at somebody, talk with them, just make them feel like they matter because they do, because they matter to God. That's why we wanna show kindness to others. So let me ask you a question. How can you show kindness to somebody this week? We just started redoing the whole church. 
they put sticks on the side of the walls to make the actual, I guess, the walls from, I think from coconut trees. So after they made the sticks, they put mounds of dirt inside, like inside and outside the church. And then they'll go get water from the well and bring it and pour it into the dirt and mix it, stomp all over it with their feet and um, make it in a mud. So then you have these big, huge things of mud that you um, are gonna put on the walls. So then you pick up some of the mud and you basically just throw it at the wall. So <laughs> first, I'm assuming that first you actually kind of just nicely put it there, but then to make the actual wall, you're just throwing the mud onto the wall, which is a lot of fun. 